Well, guys, it's been a long week without you, but I finally have put together another video, and it's a really good one today. And in today's video, you're going to see this Halloween fortune telling machine. You're also going to see this blackjack snack tray and a ton more items. I know there's a ton because I weighed them. Okay, so just sit back and enjoy, and we're about to begin. Hey guys, I'm dying to get thrifting, and I hope you are too. But before we go, here's today's trivia question. And it's about one of my favorite ceramics companies. In what year did Rookwood Pottery open? And in what year did Rookwood Pottery close its doors? The reason I'm giving you this trivia question is for two reasons. One, they have absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous pottery. And two, once you learn a few tricks, they're so easy to date. So I'll give you those answers later on in the video. But for now, let's get thrifting. I'm dying to start. I decided to start my search on this aisle when the first thing I saw was this blackjack snack tray, but I didn't know if the glass was strong enough to ship, so I figured I'd hit it against my cart. There you go. It didn't break, and it was only $4.99, so I thought I'd keep it. It was made by Luminark, and that's not a bad brand, so definitely it stayed in the cart. Then I went back to the shelf, and I saw the matching snack tray, but I didn't know the strength of this either, so I figured I'd smash it against the shelf. There you go. It didn't break either, and it was also $4.99. So I took my very two strong pieces of glass, and I put them in the cart. I came over to this aisle because I thought it had some promise. It looked like there was pretty decent stuff. First thing I saw was this clock for $3.99. That was not decent stuff, so I passed on that. Then I saw this polka dot vase for $3.99. I also... Passed on that. Next to the vase was this birdhouse for $12.99. That was a ridiculous price. I decided to leave this aisle. This store has a pretty nice toy section. There's usually some nice stuff to look through. First thing I saw that I liked on this aisle was this tank set. It's a remote control battle tank set. It was brand new in a box. I didn't know the price, so I had to go look for it. It was $19.99. I almost put it back, but then I looked them up on eBay, and these are going for $90 new. And this one was new, so in the cart it went, and home it went with me. Well, looked as I might. I didn't find anything else at this store, so I decided to head up to the cashier. I'll make money off these items, so I was happy. And now it's off to the next Goodwill. See you in the car. Well, guys, before we head to the next Goodwill, I want to tell you what happened to me when I got to the cashier. When I got up there, I saw this. It's a Halloween fortune-telling machine. So I said to the girl, well, why is this here? And she said, because the last guy just left it. I said, well, that looks pretty cool. How much? She said, $2.99. I said, wow. Okay. So now it's mine. So let's get going to the next Goodwill. Oh, it came with batteries, too. Pretty cool, huh? Look out behind you. Mm. Eh? Non-subscribers are back there. That's why. Okay, let's get going. Well, here we are at store number two. I think we're going to be lucky in here because the skull told me so. Well, let's get inside. There's no treasures out here. This toy owl caught my eye, so I figured I'd take a walk over here. First thing I saw was this game. It was called Stomple. It was only $1.99, but they weren't going for much, so I had to leave it. Then I saw this human body game for $1.99. It looked well made. All the pieces were there. So I figured this was going to become partners with my cart. And in there it went. This aisle had some stocking hangers, but they don't go for much money. This was a pair of salt and pepper shakers for 99 cents. But they were too cheap, I put them back. Right next to them were this Mickey Mouse and Minnie salt shakers for $1.99. These I figured I could make money on, so I put these in the cart. 
Maybe 10, 12 bucks I'll get for him. I went back to the aisle and I saw Santa stuck in a chimney for only 99 cents. I figured this was better looking than the other and more novelty. So I took this too. Well, I definitely had better luck at this store in the past. But that's thrifting. You don't always hit a home run. So I'm just going to pay for this stuff and meet you guys out in the car. Well, guys, we're going to be heading to the last store of the day. But before we go, I wanted to give a treat to some of you people who watched last week's video. In last week's video, I introduced Flea Market, my new dog. He's really cute, but I'm not going to show him too much in this week's video because he's a little under the weather. But I'll catch you guys up on that in next week's video. But for now, let's get to that last store. Say hi to everybody. Okay, see you guys there. I started my search on this aisle. The first thing I came across were these Christmas figures. There was four of them, but obviously there was one missing. They wanted four ninety nine for it. Nah, I passed on it. Next, I saw this gun case. They were asking only five ninety nine for it. It was brand new. It was made of leather. I figured I'd get twenty five dollars for it easy. So in the cart it went. Well, guys, that gun case sold for twenty-six dollars and ninety-five cents plus nine ninety-five shipping. I tell you guys all the time: if you see gun accessories, pick them up. They usually sell. They usually sell fast, and they usually sell for pretty good money. So remember: if you see them, pick them up and make yourself some money. Okay. Now back to the video. I made my way over to this aisle. First thing I saw was this bag of potpourri. They were asking three ninety-nine for it. I thought that was a little high, so I left it. Then I came across this carbon monoxide alarm for five ninety nine. I thought that was a little high too. Next I came across this glare blocker, you put it on your car visor. I've been looking for one for me, and for three ninety nine it's now mine. I walked on over to this aisle. It was their glassware aisle. The first thing I saw was this mug. It said Jerry on it. If any of you guys know Jerry, would you tell him I know where his mug is? Next to Jerry's mug was this Waterford crystal clock. Probably a paperweight too. They were asking $3.99 for it. I figure I could get $20 for it, so I took it. Well, that was about enough for today. But on the way out, I saw this Samuel Adams light, so I figured I'd take a look at it. They were asking $129.99 for it. I couldn't make money at that price, so I just continued to the car. Well, guys, it's time for me to go. I now have two reasons to go. One, I got to feed me, and two, I got to feed flea market. But here's the answer to today's trivia. In 1880, Maria Longworth Nichols opened up the Rookwood Pottery Ceramic Company. In 1886, she came up with a very clever way of dating her pottery. She would take her logo, which is an R and P back to back, and put a little dash over it. In 1887, she put a second dash with her R and P logo. 1887, 1888, 1890, all the way up to 1900, where she had 14 dashes. Then in 1901, she kept the 14 dashes, but added a Roman numeral. All the way up to 1967, when sadly they closed their doors. Well, I hope you enjoyed this trivia. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and by the way, I have a bonus video coming up in about two seconds. So have fun, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Well, guys, this is the bonus portion of this video. This is where I take excerpts from older videos where I bought stuff. Then I break back in and I update you guys on what they sold for. It's usually a lot of fun. So let's get going. I came on over to the toy aisle, and the first thing I saw were these pencil erasers, the Marvel Avengers. They were 99 cents. I couldn't make money, so I left them. Then I saw this Jeopardy handheld game for $4.99. I have one at home I can't sell, so I sure don't want another. But right next to it was this Beatles car. It was $3.99. It was a collector's car. I've never seen them before. They were going for $30 online, so I wanted this. Well, as soon as I bought that Beatles car, I knew it was going to sell. It was just a matter of when. Well, it took about a week, 
and it ended up selling for $19.95 plus $6.95 shipping. I was expecting to get a little bit more, but still, all in all, I was pretty happy. Okay, now on to the next item. Well, here we are at the first store of the day. First thing I saw that I liked was this wristwatch thermometer. It was only $2.99, but it was made of such cheap plastic. I just had to leave it, so I put it back down. Then I saw this dog mug. For $1.99, I would have got it, but it was missing a top that came with it, so I had to pass on that too. Then I saw this brass bell. For $4.99, it was a steal. These go for over 40 bucks, so it was going home with me for sure. The bell ended up selling for $19.95 plus $9.95 shipping. I was actually expecting to get somewhere around $40, but still, I was happy with the profit I made. Okay, now on to the next item. As soon as I got to the store, I realized they had put out all these new bins. So I walked right over to them. First thing I saw was this surveillance camera for $7.99. I looked them up on eBay. They go for like 40 bucks. So I put that in the cart. I went back and there was a second surveillance camera. I said, well, if I can make money on one, I could double my money on two. Those surveillance cameras ended up selling for $24.95 each, plus $9.95 shipping. So I was really happy with the profit I made, even though I wasn't too happy with paying $7.99 for them. But all in all, good day. Okay, so on to the next item. As soon as I got to this store, I walked right over to the toy aisle because I saw that policeman cookie jar. He was called the Cookie Cop. They were asking $4.99 for him. Online, they go for over $25, so I took them. Stop! Move away from the cookie jar! When I bought that policeman cookie jar, I didn't have very much doubt that it was going to sell. It was just a matter of how much it sold for. Well, it ended up selling for $19.95 plus $10.95 shipping, which is pretty much in the range that I would have expected for it. And I made a nice profit. Okay, now on to the last item. As soon as I got here, I walked over to this aisle. The first thing I saw in this aisle was this XM radio kit. It's Cirrus radio. It was $7.99. I passed on it. It wasn't, they weren't selling for much. Then I saw this golf ball sweet spot finder. It was $2.99. Believe it or not, they were going for near 30 bucks online. So I took this one. The golf ball sweet spot finder. When I got it home, it was missing the pen that actually marks the sweet spot. So I had to lower the price, but it still ended up selling for $14.95 plus $6.95 shipping. So I ended up making a really nice profit off it, even though it was missing pieces. I should teach you guys, if you see something out there, even if it's missing a minor piece, people still want it. Okay, that's it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please share this video with a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.